cutie. It is a lovely Wednesday morning today, so I thought it would be fun to take you along with me through a summer day in the life, complete with reading, working, and hopefully some more reading, because as you will see, I have committed myself to a readathon. Now, I know that most people would probably start a warm morning like this off with an iced coffee or something like that. But personally, I am not a coffee drinker. I actually much prefer Diet Coke in the mornings, so. Now that that has been acquired, it is time to get to work. This summer, I'm getting to do some virtual projects with a startup company and it's very exciting because it's really like my first big adventure into the biomedical engineering industry after graduation. And so for me, I'm just having so much fun with it. I get to interview customers and like get a sense of what their needs are. Ever since I started like my first prototype in school. I have just loved this part of the design process. I love getting to talk to people and like connect with them and hear their stories and I think it just helps me know that the work I am doing is making a tangible difference in somebody's life. Like it's actually making someone's life better. <sighs> it's just that's very fulfilling to me. Um, and then I have also been given kind of creative free reign over our company blog. We don't have one yet, but our founder really wants to start one. So I am getting to basically write all of the articles for that. And I just finished writing our first one and she liked it. So I'm very excited about that. So now that I've gotten some work done, I want to tell you about the readathon that I'm going to be doing this month. All throughout the month of June, I will be participating in the Studio Ghibli readathon. I found out about it through Mo and Christine from the Roomies Digest. If you have not seen their channel, let me just say they are an up and coming duo. I don't know about you, but I really take pride in like the subscriber count that a channel has when I join them because then if they like grow to be a a lot bigger I can be like ooh, I joined them like at this stage I joined them at just under 3,000 subscribers and I have no doubt that they will exceed that far and beyond in the future so go check them out I will post their announcement video in my description box but basically the idea is it is a month-long readathon all surrounding the Studio Ghibli films and so if you participate you basically get to pick which movie you want to read for. So for example, I have chosen The Wind Rises and just like a quick confession, I've never actually seen The Wind Rises. I've never seen any Studio Ghibli film ever. I'm so sorry, don't come at me. I appreciate the artistry from the man Miyazaki. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm very excited for the opportunity to watch them because I know that the administrators of the readathon are going to be streaming some of the movies this week. And so each movie has three prompts and they are all based on quotes from the movie. So for The Wind Rises, the first quote says, humanity dreams of flight, but the dream is cursed. So for that one, the prompt is to read a book that involves flight, dreams, and or curses. And so I know the administrators have said that these prompts are kind of like 
up to our interpretation so I won't exactly be taking that prompt literally and that's all I'm gonna say for now the second one says I will wait for you even if it takes a hundred years Okay, so the prompt for that quote is pretty straightforward. It's a book with romance. And then the last quote says, Oh, your painting is ruined. No, it's not. I'll always remember this day when I look at it. And so the prompt for that one is a colorful cover. And I'm very excited about that one in particular. Obviously, I'm going to need to get some new books. But we have a slight hiccup if you will. And that is, I had forgotten like how truly expensive of a hobby reading is. Books are expensive. So today we're going to get a library card. Won't you come along with me and my little brother as we take a trip to the library? the books. Now that I have acquired the last book I needed for the readathon, I'm going to take you through all of the books that I will be reading for each prompt that I told you about earlier. Starting with the book that I got from the library, which is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. This is the second book in the Red Queen series, which if you're on Book Talk, you probably definitely have seen this book before but just to kind of sum up what the series is about it is basically set in like a fantasy world where people are split up into two groups based on like it is a class system but it's also like there's actual biological differences between the two groups like they have different blood the reds are people like you and me they're just like regular old humans but then the silvers have like actual silver blood and they're all born with these really cool superpowers like some of them are really fast or some of them can like bend water and fire and so there's like a whole really cool representation of like a bunch of different types of magical powers but the problem with this is like it turns out separating the two groups and so like you have this really elite like higher up class which is the silvers and then the reds kind of end up being like menial workers and they're much much poorer than the silver and so of course like any good YA fantasy there's rebellion brewing that is basically where we pick up in the second book I couldn't wait to find out what happened, so I actually have already read about a hundred pages on the ebook. I already kind of like have a vibe for this book and I'm very, very happy with it. I don't think I said the prompt for this one. So the prompt that this is for is actually the romance prompt because there's kind of a love triangle and or love square where going on in this book so it definitely has a lot of very complicated romance going on and so that is the prompt for this book the next one i have is called more than enough by elaine welteroth one of my goals as i started to try to get back into the habit of reading more books is I'm trying to also read more nonfiction and this is an amazing nonfiction again I have already read 80 pages of this book so far and I also went ahead and used my free trial with audible to get the audiobook version because she actually narrates it and so obviously I have to have her like telling her own story to me which like okay 
Elaine is literally in her 30s. So just to have done enough in your life by the time you're in your 30s to warrant writing a memoir is so, so impressive to me. Um, but basically she is the youngest person ever to be editor-in-chief at Teen Vogue or any Condé Nast publication and she's also only the second black person to do so and so this book is basically not just about her life but like specifically kind of like a loose blueprint for other people either like women or people of color or just anyone trying to be the first in their business basically like the steps that she took to do that in her life and to make history set records do all this amazing stuff and just some like advice that you can apply to your own life but she has just such a fascinating story and literally just within the first like chapter or two i was already like rooting for her if that makes sense because she started off talking about her parents and how they got together and it was literally the cutest sweetest story I've ever heard so I was just like yes yes so I'm going to be using this book for the colorful cover prompt oh I love this cover it's just this beautiful blue background with this gorgeous orange dress and she just looks like she is absolutely just living her best life like oh she's so pretty and just I love her. I love her. And then finally, we had the prompt about flight, dreams, and curses. And like I kind of hinted at before, I'm not taking that literally. Um, so I am going to be reading The Wonderful Adventures of Mrs. Seacole in Many Lands by Mary Seacole. And this is also a nonfiction memoir type book. I have already talked about this book in my summer reading list, so I will try to like keep it short and sweet but basically this is about a woman born in Jamaica she is mixed race so her dad was Scottish and her mom was Jamaican and she has big dreams of being a doctor in the Crimean War and so that's kind of like where it connects to the prompt and so she has these huge amazing aspirations and it is just such a fantastic book filled with travel and medicine and like just all these really unique experiences like this absolutely should be required reading uh okay I'm done now those are the three books that I'm going to be reading for the Studio Ghibli Readathon we will see who knows maybe I will add a few more in there um, but I am not the fastest reader in the world, so I don't want to make my TBR too long and then not be able to get to everything. So we're going to start with three and then see how things progress. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm way too tired to give any coherent thoughts or opinions about the book, but all I can say is I love it. It is so good. It is even better than the first one. And it is just plot twist after plot twist after plot twist. And I am, I'm here for it. I'll be honest, I am a plot-driven chick, and that is all she wrote, so I'm here for it.
<sighs> yep, time to go to bed. Good night.